You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 33 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today uh-huh. we are uh, t- talking about when hell froze over. I mean, let's not get <laughs> carried away just yet. Oh, I know. I know. But so, it was good. Or both oh, well, shows were pretty good. All right. Well, a couple weeks ago, well, it's probably been a while. Than it, that it's happened because I've probably asked you more than once uh-huh. since the SmackDown ratings were kind of in the shitter and yeah. things were bad and the expectations of the Fox deal. I was like, do you they wanted th- to like double the viewership, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, do you think they can flip the switch and uh, you know change it overnight? And, and I said, absolutely not. No. They're gonna burn. And then you get weeks like this, and it's like, huh, maybe they can. Yeah. Well, the problem or the thing is that. This is a nice base mm. to lay the foundation, but they need to build off of it's that. It's true. Because, However, what? ratings were down for last night. <laughs> but, but I know, I know, it, I know. It's it's you know it's impossible to to know exactly what's going to happen, especially when things are bad. Yeah, you can't just expect a quality show to come out of nowhere. It's true, and you have these weird pay per views between uh, the Rumble and Mania, and they mm-hmm. kind of just spin their wheels. So it's true. It's like. What are we getting tonight? Yeah, yeah um, more or less. So, did you have any issues with USA? No. Don't get it. Both nights. Yeah. Still. Oh, both nights? Still. Really? Can't. That's weird. The only channel on huh. yeah, my I did not television that, that isn't working is USA Network. That's hilarious. That happened to me a few a couple months ago. Yeah. And the worst part is we were, I ran all new cables for the televisions on Saturday. Uh-huh. And every everything else works. Well, well the yeah, other I was ones. gonna say if there's if everything works except for that one channel, yeah. but it's not every one. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's just the one box in my room. That's it. Hmm. Yep, that's really weird. Mm-hmm. Stupid. But, so I mean, for Raw, I kind of watched a little bit of the Hulu version today, and mm-hmm. then I was watching the rest on my computer, and it was just. Yeah, there's definitely Me. stuff here that uh, wasn't on the Hulu version, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Because uh, well, there, there was a lot of long segments. Just on looking the Hulu at your version. notes, I uh, Naya faced Bailey. Okay. That happened. There was some kind of gender segment. Yes, he faced Kurt Angle. Yeah, I saw that, mm-hmm. but he also had something to do with the birthday party. That was after Raw went off oh, the air. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I, I know they had that said something. Mm-hmm. So they celebrated after Ric Flair got murdered? I mean, I guess. I guess beating up gender is a type of celebration. I, I, don't, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really read too much into it. No, I didn't care. If it says Jinder Mahal, I am not interested. Mm-hmm. That's that's my rule of thumb. Yep. That's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, uh, the big thing around Monday Night Raw before we went on the air was all about Roman Reigns mm-hmm. and his big announcement, which... He let us know that he is in remission. Yes, Joe. Joe is going to uh, be back. Yes, they should call him Joe. <laughs> they played the clip at the beginning of the show. They did. It's like I come to you as a man named Joe. It's like, oh. I mean, it was uh, it was a really good segment. That's true. It, it just it felt so genuine, mm-hmm. and since outside of him leaving, that was really the only thing we've gotten of roman being himself you know that's true i mean it just felt like loose like he was able i'm sure this was none of this was scripted i'm sure he went out there and just did his thing and he just seemed so much more comfortable yeah i mean i don't know if it was just because of the circumstances and you know everything going on yeah but that's true everything well, that we've seen from him has been so heavily scripted and it just yeah. seems like everything was removed yeah. i was gonna say that like when you don't have the script like in theory, it, it should be easier with the script to know what to do. But mm-hmm. I think the with the scrutiny that is under them now, uh, you probably a little harder to act like yeah. genuine if you're going off the script there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, so, I, not, I, I not get that it. I don't think they would ever do something like that here anyway. Yeah, no, but. that's that's. Well, you know, you go on the internet, and there's a lot of people that believe this whole thing was a work. You know, it's funny. I, I I thought of that, but as a joke. You know, I mean... <laughs> I, like, I didn't seriously contemplate it being, like, a legit thing. Oh, no, there were a lot of people that were on board thinking that this was, you know, Vince McMahon doing what he does, faking people's death, and now... 
I mean, this is, you well, know. Yeah, to be fair, the timing seems pretty coincidental. He's going to be back right before WrestleMania. I, I, I know, I know. You, you and, play the cards. He and, was out. He was doing all types of movies and stuff like that. No, I mean, it's one of those, um, uh, you know. When you so have, crazy like, it could yeah, be possible yeah, kind of yeah, theories. Yeah, it's like Bo Dallas and his theories. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then you have uh, the like you'll just have Vince come out. And it's like yeah, we're gonna have a Money in the Bank match like next week on Raw, and it's just gonna be Roman, and he just gives him it, and then he's gonna cash in uh-uh. during the the WrestleMania. Match. Yeah. <laughs> so, calling it now. Sure. That's sure. My, that's my bet. Yeah. He's gonna get RKO'd, like go. super good, like uh, Seth did a couple years ago, and yep. Done. Sure. You keep sprouting that nonsense. No, but I mean, didn't think this was going to happen this quick. But what, him being back? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, you would think they would announce that he's doing better and then... Yeah. But no, you know what? I mean, good for him. It. Yeah. The crowd was... Clearly, it wasn't. there was no real physical, uh, I guess, burden Mm-mm. on him. So. But I mean, and then that was another thing. There were a lot of people criticizing that and being like, oh, you know, he's not looking like your typical cancer patient. And I think... One of the uh, cancer research facilities or something like that in the UK came out and said, you know, there's all different types of forms. And yeah. it all depends on what you're dealing with, basically. Yeah. And um, if he was ahead of it, which obviously it seems like he was. Yeah. So. I would assume so. Mm-hmm. But this wasn't the only time we saw him during the show, which no. was good. This kind of, you know, shown that he is back. He's then back into his every every other segment role on raw mm-hmm. although i must say usually when he's around it's better than when they had baron corbin doing half the yeah. segments on raw yeah and then we did have an interesting segment with baron corbin backstage where he was like <laughs> <sighs> yeah what he said uh because uh, i guess he was quoted as saying that roman reigns deserved it <laughs> Or something like that. It was that. something along those lines, yeah. And uh, and then he says, Roman, better not get in my way. <laughs> it, it it was just kind of dumb. Yeah, and no one knew, understood the pressures I was under being the... General manager, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Dumbass. So, what do we think about the Revival losing two weeks in a row? Last week they lost to DIY. This week they lost to Black and... Ricochet, yeah, um, Alistair Black. I don't want them to just shorten his name to uh, just you know, Black. Well, just Black. At least he's Alistair. not moody now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, what did they call him? Like the Dutch Destroyer or yeah, something like that? Yeah, but he's been yeah. called that Has before. He? Yeah, I think that's what he used to be called on the Indies. Like I remember them saying that, like at the beginning of their NXT run. I believe it. Um, but uh, <laughs> Mr. Tommy End. Yes, but uh, I I would say. I think they're looking at it as a positive. Ooh, the WWE? Yeah. Like, they might think that they're doing good for the NXT guys when they're really yeah. just doing bad for the Well, for I mean, the, the big problem is, and this is what we've been saying all along, is they don't know how to build up multiple people, so it's not like you have a legit second tag team to throw in there. Granted, you had Rude and Gable just looking on backstage, and it's yeah, like, I don't know what, what are they playing? That. This is yeah. Yeah. last week, this week? Mm-hmm. I so. mean, is are they waiting... Are they all of a sudden going to be like, all right, you guys beat them this week. You guys beat them this week. We're going to beat you so we can get our tag team title shot or something. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it really it certainly doesn't benefit the Revival. Well, I mean, I don't know. The, the match was laid out very odd. It was more to suit Black and mm-hmm. uh, Ricochet. But last week it was more of like an even kind of there. Yeah. Well... I don't know. I feel like Gargano and Ciampa don't really need that much. Mm. Which we didn't see them on TV at all this week. Yeah. I, I don't think they need as much exposure as Black and Ricochet do. It's true. Because they've been around forever, um, and Black and Ricochet are relatively new. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and I think another big thing is that Gargano and Ciampa are going to have a, you know, continue their feud. They It was weird how they're... You know, what was oh, going they, on in yeah. NXT didn't translate to what was going on in well, the main roster does. when they... No, I know, but I mean, to have something in such a significant feud, and they weren't, like, completely mended and everything like that, Yeah, but... Well, they they had, I think, teamed a little bit, and then they separated. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Black and Ricochet, as we said, they win. Yep. 
And then we saw them win on SmackDown as well. They did. They beat Rusev and uh, Shinsuke, that odd pairing. Um, Yeah, I, I think they sold me on Alistair versus Shinsuke. If they could do something with that, that would be fantastic because uh, there definitely seemed like there was uh, something good there. Just yeah. the, both well, very prominent strikers. I yeah, mean, that's true. Um, I was going to say, I think they're going to try to really book the the Black Mask as like a dominant finisher, too. Yeah. That's what they seem like. Well, it's inter- you know, it's one of those that it just kind of hits you and that's it. Yeah, it's true. So I, I like that, that they're mm-hmm. building that up, which is good. Um, <laughs> More of this Lacey Evans nonsense. Yeah, it doesn't make and any again, sense. And again, I think we talked about it last week, right, that she is going to be probably pushed into a big role. A little later on. At least that's the rumors going around. Yeah. And we've seen just her basically show up at every show, do nothing seemingly. Well, she like walks down towards the ring and then she turns around and heads up the ramp. Right. But that's basically nothing. Yeah, I know. (laughs) She like waves and that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, And then because she did, Elias came out, then she came out to interrupt. Yes. And then she did her thing, and then Elias started playing again, Mm -hmm. and then Dean's music hit. He came down, um, and then he challenged Drew McIntyre to a match, no DQ. um, And then Elias is like, you're interrupting me. I don't like that. Yep. Which I really like the way they played everything together because they tied it back in later on in the no DQ match with Mm -hmm. uh, McIntyre and Ambrose. Yeah. Because... Elias came down and hit Ambrose over the back with the guitar. Finally. I know. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, that was uh it was good. And then I, we uh I like I like this new uh not a care in the world dean. Yeah. Yeah. He's um, a lot more entertaining. The man of two belts. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was fantastic. Renee was like, Whoa, I guess he's got two belts. <laughs> uh I guess you didn't know what your husband uh war when he came out there yeah they don't really pay that much attention i know but that was during their no dq match dean had taken his belt off and started whipping mm. uh drew with it and then he still had a belt on it yeah it was good it was good yeah um drew eventually goes over with the claymore yeah um well, not that a surprise was, that was after the dean had yeah. getting attacked so mm-hmm. and then what, what, lashley clean. came out and so did uh corbin, corbin. yeah, yeah. They so they beat him down him. And then Seth and Roman came out for the save. Mm-hmm. So, so we are definitely going to get some sort of shield reunion. Next week, we're getting the six-man tag. You think, or do you think they're going to save it for Fastlane? I think at Fastlane, there's going to be an eight-man tag. Braun with the shield against the four of them. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. <sighs> Or they will get that eight man tag. You know, I, I would criticize them, but I guess you know, with everything that had happened, it's kind of hard to. Uh, you don't want to put Roman in a singles match as first. No, 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 no. I, I just mean everything that Braun went through with the Shield prior to them going their own separate ways, yeah. and then now they're going to join forces together. But again, it's, it was all the circumstances that took place which led to this. So. Yeah, well, no, it all makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, they kind of actually had some foreshadowing of this mm. back at uh, the Elimination Chamber because that table spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Triple power triple bomb, bomb. Yeah, that's so true. I think that they might have actually known Rome was coming back I would at that assume point so. Well, I think that's why we got the Dean. They just dropped the whole heel thing, and he kind of became more of a face. Maybe, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, outside of the fact that it wasn't working, well, but, you know. yeah. Um, and we did get Braun versus Lashley, kind of. Um, well, the match never started. Yeah, but they were treating it as if it was a wrestling match, just the referee wasn't in the ring. Yeah. And no crowd reaction. Mm-mm. It was bad. They were confused. I-, I guess that that's what it is. That's probably what it was. Because well, I was confused myself. Yeah, I wasn't exactly. really paying attention at yeah. this And all of a sudden, point. what's going on? Here? Yeah. But yeah, Braun just beats the crap out of mm-hmm. him, uh, Leo Rush, and... Bobby Lashley. We got to see him run around the ring. And, yeah. You know, that's that's really what's important. Yeah. We're actually working backwards right now. Ah, it doesn't matter. I know. It's just funny. Well, then we can... I don't know. Well, I got uh, nothing. Yeah. Well, they had a moment of bliss, and Finn Balor was her guest. Yeah. So, I guess Alexa Bliss's new role is shit starter, or her shit stirrer, I guess. I guess so. Say. It makes sense. Because She's good she... at it. Oh, yeah. No doubt. But, so. uh, because, uh, Finn was her guest, mm-hmm. and, uh... They were making some suggestive things. Of course. <laughs> show me your abs, I'll show you my... And then, is that when Leo came out? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
So uh, I guess that's her thing now. Yeah, I guess so. so. She likes boys. Because mm. she the did the same thing with DC3. The enhancements were very prominent this week. Well, you mean the crowd reaction? No, her enhancements. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I, I get it now. Um, well, yeah, because normally she wears... She's pretty like, covered up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I but, say? you know, Leo came out yes. and... He's yeah. like, Bobby Lashley deserves a rematch. Mm-hmm. And then Finn's like, well, why don't you challenge yeah, me? right. And that's when Alexa kind of was like, what, are you not man enough to challenge him by yourself or mm-hmm. something like that? And then we got the match, and then... Um, all right, so I don't know about you. It's not really a big deal here, but the whole point of Leo Rush being in that handicap match was to take the pin, mm-hmm. and now you had a super competitive match between the two of them. I don't know, I just... They wanted to make him out to be the weak link in that whole thing, and now he's... Basically, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just I, looking into it too much. I think that at the end of the day, they want to see, they see Leo Rush as somebody who can be a single star on Raw or SmackDown. Yeah. So they don't want to bury him too much, which is smart. I mean, granted, his tactics were good. He just worked on Finn's lower body. Yeah. So it's like he was, you know, chopping him down to size, so mm-hmm. to speak. Yeah. Because I, I think that. The long-term success of Leo Rush is a lot... There's a lot greater potential than Bobby Lashley. Because mm. if if booked properly... He's a big sweaty man. If booked <laughs> properly... Because Bobby Lashley's got nothing to offer. Leo Rush does. They just but, don't... but I think they complement each other enough where Oh, no, they... it's, it's fine be... for them to be together for now. Because, but... I mean... All right, so Jim Cornette has decided to review Raw... Uh the last two weeks and he just pointed out little things like it wasn't i mean he was going on his crazy tirades like he normally does but um he was just kind of you know saying little bits and pieces and you know things that really did add would have added to the matches and things like that and he uh ripped apart the tag match i think it was last week which was bobby and leo versus finn and ricochet right Mm -hmm. that was last week yeah yeah i don't know he was just saying it how uh, Leo was doing such a good job as being the manager, and now he's a competitor, and it just it just doesn't fit the formula, I guess. Oh, it's true, but also the manager role is no longer a thing, really, in the WWE. I guess that's really what it is. So, because I think he first got paired with Lashley because Lashley can't talk. Mm-hmm. So, Which is funny, you have the wwe which has such a significant roster compared to what they had and now you have people doing multiple roles <laughs> you fair. know i mean yeah um but and, and then you have tons of people not doing anything right right <laughs> that's, exactly that's exactly the bigger, yeah, bigger yeah, stat yeah right there which uh did we talk last week about the releases right i think we did might have mentioned it unless that happened afterwards that might have happened afterwards i think it happened over the weekend yeah, actually did it so ty dillinger hideo Tommy, and tjp yes and orn anderson yes yeah i think there was some i don't know if something happened where he made a call that vince didn't like and he was just like, get the hell out of here but they hired bruce pritchard back. yes uh, apparently he had a lot to do with raw yeah so. um, and i would assume smackdown probably too, because I, I feel like there's no major separation mm-hmm. creatively between the two shows yeah because there's well, a lot of like things that happen on both shows. I think they're utilizing some more people that they brought in. I think uh, Abyss and Sanjay, yes. a Hurricane. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they were all being utilized as main roster uh, creative, or I think they were creative. I thought right? they were agents. agents, whatever. Regardless, but they've been used, um, and I'm sure they've had some sort of input and things I guess. like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, no. I mean, when we get to SmackDown, it was just such a, a well done show it was it was a lot more uh i guess wrestling oriented but the non-wrestling se- uh, segments were like you know impactful right right which is not very often because mm-hmm. usually it's like oh well here i'm here to talk about how good i am yeah 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 the other person isn't it's true which is what charlotte did but she did it to a good yeah effect. but yeah yeah she she was good in her role yeah. um all right so i guess first we'll talk about the women's stuff and then we'll get to the main event okay um so we had ronda and natty versus the riot squad mm-hmm. um so. I, I figured they should have just had three of them together yeah well I, it was funny that you say that because that's what i thought it was i thought and the then same thing i looked because when i watched it back on the hulu version mm-hmm. earlier yeah, i was Liv like oh lives on the outside yeah 
Yeah. Uh, I disagree with that idea because, A, if the match isn't going to end anyway, what's the point of... Yeah. You know what I mean? It makes Ronda and Natalia look better if they take on the three. It's but true. either way, if the Riot Squad, you know, I guess technically wins... Yeah. Well, it's funny. No, no, they lost. Yeah, they lost by DQ. That's yeah, how Ronda you got attacked. And, yeah. Um, well, since we saw Ronda squash Ruby at mm. the pay-per-view and then have a competitive match with her... Which because, made no sense. Because you had the Riot Squad yeah. at ringside that was there. Stupid. Their way of doing it. Yeah. But yeah, Becky comes out uh, limping still mm -hmm. uh she hits natalia yes, right with and then, the crutch with the crutch and then her and ronda go back and forth well the security comes out like immediately try to rip them apart um eventually becky what? gets pulled to the back by cops yeah well it was funny because they were each hitting they were hitting each other with the crutch and there was still a cameraman on the side, and he was trying to get the hell out of the way because uh, we saw how dangerous those crutch shots were. Oh, at, yeah. Uh, yeah, Ronda uh, Elimination got Chamber. Up. Yeah. Um, so Becky finally gets uh, taken in the back. Um, I guess she get, got arrested. Yeah, that and that was it. Yeah. The, uh, well, that, that wasn't it. It's well, I mean, event. for Becky. Yeah, for Becky. And I think that was definitely a missed opportunity, which when we go to the main event... Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that would probably would have worked better with I, Becky. I, I think so. I don't know. I think it would have. Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll finish with this, and then yeah. we'll get to the main event. So, Rhonda grabs the microphone, and she demands that Vince comes out. All right. So, before we get into this, uh -huh. so actually, you know, Stephanie comes out instead. Yes. We'll say that. But now you have Stephanie and Rhonda in the ring. Mm -hmm. The crowd doesn't give a shit. They just cared that Becky was there. That's I just true. literally watched the segment like an hour ago, and uh -huh. the crowd just didn't care what was going on. Mm -hmm. I mean... Although the general perception behind Stephanie isn't very positive. No. So that's true. I think that might have hurt. Right. I think if Vince came out, it'd be a little different. Yeah, I think so. After or, we saw or even if it was Shane. Or yeah. Triple H. I think Stephanie's the only one getting a flat reaction. Probably. Yeah. I don't know if it was necessarily her or Ronda or I think it was both. mostly her. But then you had Ronda, who was on the microphone for mm -hmm. what seemed far too long. Yeah, yeah. Because, well, again, this seemed like something that had a lot of emotion behind it, and without a crowd reacting, it just sounded yeah, yeah, like her to... going crazy mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, she demands that uh, Becky get reinstated mm -hmm. because she wants her match because she's fed up with this nonsense. Right. And Stephanie says, hard no. Yeah. <laughs> your opponent is charlotte yep do you know her yeah the one with the airbags <laughs> <laughs> it's a good that's um, a good way of putting it yeah so then you know Rhonda says so oh, you know vince is a you know if he's the man in charge he's got to make the tough decisions get vince out here and that's when Steph's like nope nope not, not changing gonna it. happen and then so Rhonda lays the title in the ring and then leaves yep so i guess I, I, I think next week they're just going to award the title to Charlotte. <laughs> well, that's what she said she on said, I know, I know. She said that that's what Vince should do. I don't think they should do that, though. No. You know what they really could do? We'll, we'll get into it. No, you know what? We'll get into it when we get to SmackDown. Okay. No, because if if she... I don't know, because there's two ways of doing it. They could, like, come out and open Raw next week and go, Ronda, please take the title back, and we'll we'll put... Because, like, they showed a segment where Triple H and Stephanie were walking down in mm -hmm. the back right. with the title, and yeah, they were yeah, yeah. very concerned. So there's a chance maybe Vince comes out and goes, okay, you got, you're going to have your way, blah, right. blah, blah. Or they could go to fast lane and something could happen there. Yeah. Similar effect. Um, or they'll have a match between, like, Charlotte and somebody else, like Natalia, maybe. On Raw, who knows? Not on Raw, uh, at Fastlane for the Raw Women's Title, mm. and then somehow work that. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think Charlotte getting the title makes it easier to get to this match, though. It doesn't. But you get the title off Ronda without her needing to take a Lose? pin or anything. Yeah. But but that was the plan the whole time. I, that's that's the confusing. I, I, yeah, part. I, I guess you're right. Um. So. Boss, you know, who knows? We could just be talking out of our ass like yeah, we normally do. Yeah, it could do. be nothing. Yeah. And, she, and Ronda could be coming out with the title next yeah, week anyway. Yeah. Um, so, who knows? Yep. 
But so uh, it was an interesting segment. I mean, like I said, Becky got a big pop, and then it was just flat when she was gone. Why does she keep on wearing black and yellow? It's her Kill Bill attire. Okay. Mm. No, it's just funny because it was very similar to what she had the last time she broke in from the crowd. Yeah, at, she had uh, some sort of bodysuit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, and then main event, mm-hmm. we had Flair's birthday celebration. So. 7D. Yeah. So when I turned on Raw, <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, Roman's going to be there. It should be all right. And I had kind of known Batista was going to be there too. Mm-hmm. And then they showed the, like, the preview for rick flair i'm like oh yeah that's right i forgot that was this week yep which is funny because they said but well, they didn't say i should say it was reported that he uh the rock was actually in the area over the weekend so sure it was thought that maybe he was gonna nah. pop up nah but he's too far removed so that's true it probably makes the most sense too mm-hmm. um but yeah no they go in the ring was it triple h yeah. stephanie Stephanie was there? Yeah, right. I, I think so. Yeah. That would make sense. Shawn Michaels. Yeah, call that Shawn Michaels with his Fu Manchu. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yeah, Sting. Which, man, he still looks good. He for does. He's being... a very old man, and he looks like he can still wrestle. Uh, he, he, and not he, like um, like the Midnight Express still wrestle, like the actual... I think they're going to be at Joey Janela's spring break over yeah. WrestleMania yeah. weekend, the sons of bitches. <laughs> they're just... They got to be cl- at least close pro- to Flair's age, right? Uh, if not older. They're probably in their 60s. They're which definitely is, not older. Which is funny. Um, I think it was a couple days ago, I was watching a random Raw... No, uh-huh. no, I was watching the uh, when DX impersonates the nation. Uh-huh. Um, and Terry Funk was in a match. And this was 98, and he was like 58 yeah, at this he was time. Yeah, he I was like, he just did a moonsault and landed on the guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's going to die. And I think he just recently retired, too. And uh, that was like Officially. Yeah, 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 exactly. He's in his 70s. Yeah, yeah, sure. oh, yeah. Um, King's still going. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yep. So... Yeah, I, I don't remember. I think yeah, Sting they, came out. Just, yeah. I, there was one more, I think. Oh, Kurt Angle. Oh, that yeah, didn't yeah, make yeah. any sense. Mm-hmm. That confused me. Um, but I guess but Kurt Angle. earlier. Yeah, I wasn't... was going to say, he's there. He's old. He yeah, might as well bring him out, That's I guess. true. Um, they couldn't bring out Vince, though. That would actually make sense. Yeah. Well. Whatever. Yeah. So... <laughs> um so they're all they're like oh welcome the birthday boy the and the entire roster i think is on, on the, the stage too. yeah um and then they cut to backstage and you see a man dragging a cameraman mm. across and like i said i was spoiled a little bit so i know who i knew yeah. who it was and it was batista they he like throws the cameraman down in front of rick flair's dressing room film and, this yeah and then he goes into the room and he's like the noises are made inside mm. for a little while, and then he pulls out Ric Flair's corpse because the man, <laughs> the man didn't look like he was knocked out. <laughs> no, he looked like he was. The man dead. looked like he was dead. There His was no face acting was there. Beat red. The man is officially dead. Him by his yeah. collar. Yeah. Just, it, it, air supply cut off. Rigor mortis set in already. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It was weird. Oh, boy. So he, like, drags Ric Flair across the floor, and then he goes to the camera. He's like, do I have your attention yet, Triple H? Hmm. Or Hunter? I'm like, I knew we knew this was going to happen. It, th- this is a some, very some strange of way of going about yeah. it. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a big night. They did something. That's I mean, true. You know? I no, mean, I, the, the way... I really like the fact that it was... It was kind of shot differently. You saw him dragging a camera. Yeah. I mean, that, how that, many times? That angle was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. That was I'm cool. It, it was different. It yeah. was. You know, had I was spoiled as well. I knew he was backstage. Yeah. But I mean, this could have been the perfect moment for Becky to start beating the crap out of Rick Flair. I was gonna I mean, say that, that, that just makes all the this, sense in the this, world. This angle would have been perfect for her because. She gets arrested, but she, you know, somehow manages to escape. Right. I mean, that was the big thing when Austin got arrested. He'd yeah. come back to the arena, even yeah. when the Shield got arrested, and yeah. then they... Uh, they were released. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess when you, you know, you already have something planned for the show, I guess you're not thinking... It's... I feel like they might have actually written this for Becky, and then the Batista thing could have been a last-minute thing. Yeah, that's possible, too. I don't think she would have dragged the cameraman across. No, 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 but you could have just... 
had the cameraman rush to his room yeah. and just see her beating the crap out of yeah, him. Yeah, so it's possible. It would make sense. Uh, but just another no. way for Ric Flair to take bumps. <laughs> he can never get over himself. He looked dead. <laughs> he did. He looked he did. dead. He did. So, whatever. All right, moving on to SmackDown. All right. Um, do you want to talk about that Charlotte thing first, since we're kind of still on the topic? No. Um, well, I'm going to get to that, but it has something to do with the opening segment as well. Oh, okay. So, uh, SmackDown opens with a contract signing between mm-hmm. Dan O'Brien and Kofi Kingston for yes. the WWE Championship match at uh, Fastlane. And it- Shane and Stephanie are both hyping the hell out of Kofi mm-hmm. and showing clips and, yeah. you know, all his championship what, wins. All he's like done that. for right. the first 11 years mm-hmm. of his uh, career. And then uh, Daniel Bryan signs the contract. Yep. And then Kofi goes to, and then Vince comes out. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hold on one second. I want to hold you down one more time. Yeah. So he's like, you're, uh, you're very well qualified, but there's somebody else who's more qualified, which is a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> because this person only has had, I think, two title reigns on the main roster. Maybe three. No, no. Three. That's not right. Yeah, U- uh, U.S., I.C., and Universal. But he might, I think he might have had the U.S. title more than once. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. probably. Because yeah. they go back and forth between yeah, so him and he, AJ and then him and Jericho, yeah. too. I'm going to go with four. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. I know. Either way, it was Kevin Owens. Mm-hmm. Um, he uh, He's back, I guess. Yes. He wrestled, he actually, did. I should yes. say. I guess. Yeah. Oh, he is back. Yeah. Um, he... Fastlane's in what, two weeks? Yeah. I think it's the 12th. Sure. No, that doesn't make any sense. The 10th. Mm, the 10th. Well, today's tomorrow's 28th, Friday's the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, yeah. That'd 10th. be the 10th. Um, so, um, Kevin Owens, I guess, is seemingly a face... Mm. Even though he had a puss on his face when he was doing the contract yeah, signing. Yeah, I, I feel like that's just because he's up against Daniel Bryan. What, the it's reason why he's a, a face? face? Yeah. I guess, I don't know. I mean, I think they could play it where they almost do like a corporation thing and you have Kevin Owens be Vince's boy and then you have Charlotte be, you know, their woman. Mm-hmm. Because they've both been forced by Vince into yeah. matches. Yeah. Well, we were saying earlier how the two of them, Becky and Kofi, have had parallel storylines. Mm-hmm. So that would kind of make sense. Yeah. Imagine if, um, like, that's correct, and the two title matches at WrestleMania end up being Kofi versus Kevin Owens and then mm-hmm. just Charlotte versus Becky. <laughs> Imagine how that would play out. Because the whole reason why they had Ronda drop the title was because she wanted to leave now. And yeah, right. Waiting until after, after WrestleMania. That would be. That would, that would be, be something. something. I don't so. like the way they're reacting to me. I'm just gonna drop the title now. Yeah. It's like I'm afraid they're yeah. gonna turn on me very quickly. Yeah, pretty much. They already did. Don't worry. They already did. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But I mean, just. Just to talk about SmackDown as a whole for a minute, the crowd was just had so much energy. They were so behind Kofi at oh, the beginning. For, yeah. And then I, when Vince came out and took him out of the match, like the Big E and Xavier were going nuts and the crowd but, was booing. Man, this is exactly what they needed to do if they're going to pull the trigger at well, WrestleMania. Yeah, they built him up. That, I mean, granted, he didn't need to be built up, but no. you couldn't do it at Fastlane. No. What's the point? It, but it's this, true. And this is what I was talking about a couple of weeks ago, or last week, when I said, when has there been a really one of those WrestleMania moments mm-hmm. outside Daniel Bryan? It's true. This is going to be it. Um, I agree that it'd be big. I don't think it's quite that caliber. Like, it would be a WrestleMania moment for well, Kofi. Well, yeah, that, that's what I mean. But it, not, like, on the... The like, scale. Yeah, I, I get it. Not being, like, oh, this is, like, a big WWE WrestleMania moment. It's mm. just, like, Zack Ryder winning the IC title for a day. That was his WrestleMania moment. Yeah, yeah, no, so, no, no. It it's all depends on perspective. I guess that's true. But, yes, this would be big. Mm. I like the idea of... Um, Brian losing the title at Fastlane because I still don't really think that it makes a whole lot of sense for him to be the champion at WrestleMania. Um, and then, have, then again, just to have Kevin Owens thrust into it and to lose yeah, doesn't make a whole it, lot of sense. It I doesn't. Know. So uh, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi would be yeah. good, but I think I like Kevin Owens, so I'm partial to him, I guess. There you go. Um, when did Owens go out? 
was it right after the brand? Uh, not the brands. Uh, when they did the shakeup, or no, no. I'm trying to think how long it was. Oh yeah, he had October? that. October. Yeah, it was. It was that long. I he think had that so. thing with what gender? Right? He was out for like four months. Yeah, that's right. It was. Yeah. It felt like it was longer, but I guess he Sammy was out. He got attacked by the newly heel turned Bobby Lashley. That's right. So I think that was after um, SummerSlam for sell? sure. Yet, it could be. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember, I, I don't remember yeah. the exact date, but I think this is up for like four months. Yeah. And so I think October. Sammy's uh, scheduled to return as well, so he yes. should be back soon. But he took longer, obviously. Yeah. Because yeah, of yeah. the nature of his mm-hmm. injuries. Um, Which is funny because if well, the only reason I thought it was weird, but I guess it was just where Kevin Owens fit was because he was on Raw before this, and then oh. he's back on SmackDown. But uh, again, the continuity. Kind of, yeah. They kind of proved that that doesn't make a difference it's true. with the next segment. That's what I was leading into. Yes. So uh, apparently it was supposed to be Johnny Gargano versus uh, Cesaro. Uh, but, yeah, and Cesaro commented on Twitter when people were talking about it. He's like, card subject to change. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fair point. It's true. It's, it's true. true. Oh, so, speaking of which, before okay. we get sure. any further, apparently locally it is advertised after WrestleMania mm-hmm. as AJ Styles versus Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan for the world. For the WWE title. At a house show? I guess so. Well, I guess that means... Well, that could have been before they announced that Kevin it's Owens true. was coming back. That so is fair. He'll probably get thrown into the match and it'll be a fatal four-way. Fatal four-way, yeah. Um, just to cover their ass, I guess. Because it's always easy to put AJ in a title match at a house show. Mm-hmm. So it really doesn't matter. And it's believable no matter what. Yep. Even Randy Orton you could probably do it with. Oh, yeah. I course. don't know if they do, but they could. He had a rough night last night. He was in one segment. Okay. He was, he I'm like, did I there miss for, something? He stood there for two seconds. Yeah. So um, anyway, before we get too far <laughs> off track, so the I think the bar comes out during commercial. I want to say mm-hmm. probably got job or entrance. Yeah. So and then didn't J- matter. Jeff Hardy's music hits, and him and Matt were there. All right. So. They were in North Carolina. This was the right thing. You know, yeah. this, this is when little things add up to doing the right oh, thing. Yeah. You're mm-hmm. in the home crowd. The, the crowd gave a hell of a yeah, know, reaction. Yeah. Exactly. So it was good. And uh, obviously the Hardy Boys won mm-hmm. with the returning Matt. Um, so, all right. Here's another tag team we add into the mix that pushes the rest of the tag team division down. Um, well, it looks like they're building the tag team division as a whole up mm. to even it out when they do the shakeup. I guess that's true. That would make sense to me. They really just need to do what they're doing with the women's titles and have one go cross-branded. It would make sense. It's just because the disaster that has become the Raw tag team division and then SmackDown, you just have so many teams not doing anything. I guess, but at, when you do that, you risk having tag teams feud over nothing i guess and that's a little harder to believe than singles feuds like fair enough the new day versus um uh, the usos Mm. like last year's like the really good one that one even though it was obviously fueled by a title it was 2017 but whatever or whatever it was (laughs) two years ago yeah year and a half ago yeah um that was fueled by the title but it could have not yeah you didn't necessarily need it so but there really very rarely is tag team really regular tag team feuds like the shield has done plenty of things that weren't over the title but they're more of a stable that's different yeah um that's what sanity is and well they haven't been on tv at all no eric young last week losing to ricochet and that was it so Um, uh yeah, then we had our truth bringing back the uh, U.S. Open Challenge. I enjoyed this. This segment. was fantastic. His hero John Cena. He wants to recreate. <laughs> he what... wanted. He grew up <laughs> idolizing John Cena, <laughs> who is like, younger than him. Wait, wait, isn't Truth like fifty years old? They were talking about on commentary. Yeah. John Cena's like forty-two or yep. whatever he is. Yep, he's not even that old. Yeah, he's. Like, I, don't, I think he's, he's just forty, 40 now. Yeah. But it was fantastic. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I always wanted to grow up to be just like mm-hmm. John Cena. So then Andrade comes out to be his challenger. Rey Mysterio comes out right he after Runs him, right past him. Runs through him. Knocks him down. Goes in the ring. And then Truth's like, oh, I got a conundrum here. What would John Cena do? Yep. And Carmel's like, he'd be a man and face both of them. Damn. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's brave. He's brave. <laughs> and then he goes, pass. 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 <laughs> He's like, you know what? I will be brave. 
And then he uh, says, I'll take on both of you. And you know what? This match was six minutes long, but it was fantastic. It was good, yeah. And that's that's all you need to do. And, you know, I, I right. like a good long wrestling match just like mm. anybody else, but the TV needs to be for a large amount of people. That's true. You're going to you get non, you know, if your casual fans will tune out if yeah. it's a long thing. It's true. Um, this was good because it had R-Truth doing his normal, like, kind of, like, quick offense in and his, like, his little splits mm. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And then you had, like, some big spots with the other two where you had uh, um, that, what was it? The, oh, what? The, like, yeah, the did electric the chair. On her, off. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Because yeah. uh, Andrade was on R-Truth's shoulders, I think. Yeah, I think that's And Rey was. Mysterio did the Hurricane mm-hmm. Rana. That was pretty cool. Yeah, no, there was, it was just a well-put-together match. Yeah. And I think... This is going. I mean, R Truth ended up picking up the victory. Amazingly, because yes. Ray had both Andrade and Truth set up for a six one nine. It was a little sloppy getting to there. Yeah, it was a little yeah. awkward. But and then it was not Ray, exactly the easiest. Ray thing went to set for up. it. R Truth ducked. So Ray just ended up hitting Andrade. Mm-hmm. Ray gets back in the ring. Truth rolls him up, and that's mm-hmm. it. And yep. I know you didn't think it. Nope. I didn't think. I'm like R Truth. Well, I had with the said. Title. I'm like, oh, I guess this is where R Truth loses the that's title. It. That's it. So, but you know, whatever. But I, honestly, I think this eventually Andrade should pick up that title or um, Ray, and then you have Andrade take it off. Um, I I disagree. <clears throat> I think that if they're not going to do anything with the U.S. title, have our truth keep it like in stupid ways like this. That's fair. It's more entertaining. It's true because. Um, but I'm, I think you need to put a stake on. The Mysterio and Andrade feud. I guess, eventually. But I think for now, they might want to... Like, maybe... Uh, this is going to happen at Mania. I yeah, would yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, maybe the, one of them can pick it up. Two out of three falls. It's going to be something with that. Iron Man match. Right. But not... Well, I wouldn't go that far. But maybe a half hour long. It could be. But definitely, it will need some sort of stipulation. I feel like this would just be the easy way to do it. it. It's going to be a <clears throat> luchador match. Because next week, Andrade's going to come out. <gasps> Lucha house party match. Shut up. So he's going to come out next week and say, I didn't get the pin, so I want my rematch, and that's when he's going to pick up the title. Calling it now. Okay. I call a lot of things. Usually I'm wrong. You are. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Uh, Charlotte Flair comes out. Well, says, we already kind of talked about you this. You said you had something to say about this. Oh, I did. I just said that Charlotte should be the representative of the women and oh. if they do a corporation-type stable because I didn't want to bring up Kevin Owens until we got to SmackDown. Oh, okay. Damn Never mind. it. Never mind, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'm sh- sorry. But yeah, Charlotte thinks that she should be awarded the title. Yeah, that was basically yeah. it. Um, we had Black and Ricochet again teaming together yep. versus Rusev and Shinsuke. We did? We did. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, AJ gets interviewed. <laughs> um, apparently, he's in a slump. Mm, yeah, sure. That's what we're being told. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it just made it seem like Randy Orton was going to be his next uh, opponent. Yeah. Oh, you know, while we just backtrack for a second, um, we did see Aleister Black and Ricochet in the locker room, and Lana was kind of telling that. was weird. That it was weird, but I, you know, I think it was just to give them some time to be in front of the camera before the match. Uh, Granted, so like, they've, they've, they've been, been on been, TV, but, so. I don't know, you just, you know, you like, need little bits and pieces. Yeah, and they talked a little bit, which yeah, helps. Well, yeah, that's what I mean, too, and I, I, I think Aleister, if, if they continue with him, he's going to be a big thing on the roster. Oh, you mean you think that they're doing, like, a good job with him? Yeah, and but I think he comes... He comes across, like, threatening. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. It's good. Ricochet, too. Yeah, um, but he needs to be mysterious, and that's how they have to keep his yeah, character. Mm-hmm. So, I, yeah, I agree. Um, I, I think that they see see him as, like, a, a really big prospect. Mm-hmm. Obviously, all of them, they see something in. Yeah, I, I think, well, that, I think he, that was Vince going, Triple H, uh, what are your top four guys? Send mm-hmm. them up. We need help. Yeah. So help. I, I I think that Black is probably going... He'll definitely be the first world champion of the four of them. Wow. That's a, that's a pretty big uh, it's pretty easy. Take. It's pretty easy to say. I mean, I guess. Who knows? Assuming any of them get it. There's a chance that they all get buried. So, Or he so can get the Finn Balor treatment. They Or he can get the EC3 treatment and end up on main event losing to Apollo Crews this past week. Oh, <gasps> really? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Oh boy, that's amazing. Yep, 
All right. Um, and then we have a tag match that uh, Kevin Owens had actually requested. Oh, yeah, wait. The show. So I don't think we finished with the AJ segment. We just or did. No, we just said that? Orange is going to be his next opponent. Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't know if you. Yeah, there was not really no meat behind this. Yeah. I guess uh, it's AJ has a WrestleMania match in his mm-hmm. contract, so we're going to have him go against Orton. No. Do you think Orton was on TV longer here or when he did the gauntlet that he won? Here. <laughs> Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not even right. a question. Yeah. I thought he just stood there. Did he even say a he word? He did. He didn't say anything. Yeah, he didn't say anything. Yeah, but he stood there for a yeah, while. I guess As opposed to the RKO where it was four seconds. Because you saw him as he was hitting the RKO, mm-hmm. and then the pin, and I don't even think they showed him, like, celebrating No, I think much. it was just, it just the three count, and then done. Yeah. So. All right, fair enough. Anyway, mm-hmm. we got Kofi Kingston and Kevin Owens versus Danny Bryan and Eric Rowan. Yes. Um... This is actually a pretty good match. It There's, was uh, a lot of team, good teamwork between Kevin Owens and Kofi Kingston, mm-hmm. um, and then obviously Eric Rowan and Dan O'Brien are going to team together because yes. they're the bad guys and they have a common enemy. Naturally, um, but yeah, Kevin Owens, uh, fantastic! It's so good to have him back. It is, um, and he won with the Stone Cold Stunner. He did, which was because uh, he's done it before. Mm-hmm. It's not like he has it. But he's never yeah. finished a match with Mm-mm. it before. So I hope going forward. That that is his finisher. I like the pop up power bomb, but having a varied move set, especially one that literally can come out of nowhere. That's true. Um, I think that he, if there's gonna be a wrestler right now that does it, it has to be him. Yeah. Him or uh, I don't. I don't really know. Our truth, maybe. <laughs> It'd be funny. <laughs> no, we'll just stick with Kevin Owens. Yeah. So. Oh, you know what? what I thought was really odd and dumb and it made me have all these terrible memories sure in the opening segment when kevin owens and shane mcmahon were in the ring together was keep those son of bitches away from each other oh that's we don't need you to was? ruin smackdown again <laughs> i was like wait a second didn't kevin owens headbutt vince last year and he did. bust him open in the ring he did i was like vince Man. respects that i though. guess that's true that's the difference that's true vince doesn't care about like feelings and stuff like oh no that. he does not he respects attitude and bravado and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's all he can be. Being about. sweaty. Yeah. Like well, his son. Yeah, it's true. The sweatiest man out there. Uh-huh. All right. So, yeah, overall, good week. Yeah. Um, entertaining. Let's hope they continue it. That's yeah. Really... We, could, we could, they could fall flat on their face next week. It's, they've done it before. Mm-hmm. So, anything's possible. Yep. They so. still have two weeks. So, what? Yeah. I next think there's only the... one show before Fastlane. Oh, okay. So, it is next week. It'll be the go home show, right? Yes. Yeah. So. All right, then. Very good. So uh, we will see you guys back here for episode 34. That sounds right. All I right. I have 33 written here. There we go. So. <laughs> and that's it. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Did you like that video? If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners podcast.